video and welcome to my channel if you're new here today is Saturday and I'm gonna try to have a really productive day today and I thought I would film so I'm not sure if this vlog is gonna go through the entire weekend or just today we'll see how much I get done but basically I just got ready a breakfast I had a really slow morning and it was kind of nice honestly because this week has been kind of chaotic and crazy so I just decided to take a nice little slow morning and have a coffee watch some tv but now it's time to grind i have so much i need to do for school and my house is a little messy right now so i plan on cleaning and i also need to run some errands before i get back home in order to sit and wait for our couch to be delivered i don't know if you've ever had like a big furniture item delivered but they always give you like this window of time that they'll show up and deliver it and you have to be home and in my case it's between 1 and 5 p.m. so I'm gonna try to get my errands done before 1 o'clock and I was gonna hit the gym but because I've been moving so slow this morning I'm just gonna go to the gym probably when Joey gets home and after the couch is delivered so that's the plan for today I probably will show you my to-do list on notion and all of the things I want to get done and of course I always do this thing where I write a giant to-do list and I don't finish so that is my toxic trait but yeah I'm probably going to head to Target now actually I need to charge my camera so maybe not I wanted to get Joey something for Valentine's Day and I also need some skincare products and just like a few groceries but not really that much so I might just pick it up at Target <laughs> So I just got back from Target and stopped to get a little Starbucks on the way back and it is 20 degrees outside and I got an iced pistachio latte. My friend Brandon told me I have to try the pistachio latte and it is amazing I have to say. So I'm sitting on the floor because to be honest I couldn't find a good angle in my house that didn't show a little bit of a mess and it was like really bothering me. So anyway, I was just going to show you guys what I got. I, not everything I got from Target. It was a lot of little things that it was kind of like grocery stuff. And do you ever go for something and then you see something else and you're like, oh, I think I need that. And then you come home and find out you don't really need it. Well, I was sure that I needed trash bags. And then I checked the trash bags that we have and we have plenty of trash bags. So I spent money on trash bags that I don't need. Like such a random thing. I always do this where it's such a random thing that I think we need. And I thought we were running out and running low. And then turns out we have plenty. Does anyone else do that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, what I was going to show. I have not been able to find the ordinary uh, products that I want in the Ulta near me. So I went to Target. So that's basically what I wanted to go to Target for. And then also I wanted to get Joey like a little Valentine's Day gift. I was gonna get him something and then I ended up just getting him chocolates but it's fine because I'm not sure exactly the thing he wants I want to make sure I get the right thing basically so anyway I'm obsessed with the ordinary I had like this really bad breakout of eczema when I was in college I think like my sophomore or junior year like facial disaster so I could not find anything except for CeraVe La Roche-Posay and the ordinary that worked on my skin and the ordinary was relatively affordable and it's very clear with the ingredients that's used inside so i highly recommend if you guys have sensitive skin to try the ordinary don't go crazy with the acids that they have for like stripping your skin like it's good if you need it and you know that your skin won't react but if you are sensitive just be careful with some of their stuff but the hydrating things and the um, peptides I highly recommend I used to just get the buffet serum and now I cannot find the buffet serum alone it's only buffet with copper peptides and it's $30 so I didn't want to spend that kind of money but it looks like the multi peptide plus HA serum is basically the same thing as just buffet alone because it is has a lot of like hyaluronic acid amino acids and bioderivatives which I'm pretty sure is the buffet serum that they had before so highly recommend I got that and I think that's $17 so it's still like kind of pricey and then I got the 100% plant-derived squalane so basically in Maryland it's normally not super extreme and super cold but it has been freezing and I still got my ice latte and I will be unboxing a 
PR package, which is a bikini. <laughs> So I finished unboxing it, super cute. I love the brown color. I feel like brown is just a popular color right now. It's funny because I used to hate on brown all the time and I loved color and now I'm all about neutrals clearly as I'm wearing all black. But anyway, I love the shade of brown. I wanna look like a little chocolate. And speaking of little, this is very tiny, but I feel like, I feel like it'll fit me. But also it's tied in a very strange way right now. It's not tied to actually Fit me. So thanks to Aurelia Intimates for sending me that. So I love using my Notion for planning and I made a little February themed week planner on Notion and I normally use that for personal stuff. But recently I think that I'm going to use it for lab and personal until I figure out how I want to organize both of them. But I wanted to just plan my week today and get everything sorted because I have a lot going on with classes starting and I also have plenty of appointments and meetings next week. So that's what I've been doing. So I just wanted to do a little bit of weekly planning because it helps me get my thoughts straight and this week I kind of have a lot of meetings and appointments and everything and I really need to keep it straight because in addition to lab work I also have classes and I also need to set up my third rotation when you're a PhD student in kind of like life sciences or anything like that you need to set up three rotations and it's not like in med school or anything where it's kind of set for you you need to choose three labs that you want to rotate with as a possible thesis lab. So I have set up, I'm currently in my first rotation, I have set up my second rotation and I still need to set up my third. So I need to meet with some PIs and everything and that's something that's been going on that I need to organize. And things are looking good. I have a PI that says he can probably take me in his lab for his third rotation and he has a project in mind, which is really good. So I also forgot to say that today I am getting a couch delivered. So I need to be here and wait for them to deliver the couch. So I'm gonna use that time to just force myself to stay home and get work done on my computer because I always, when it's like a nice sunny day outside, I just wanna just do something and drive around but this is hopefully gonna keep me home and productive. Uh, so I'm gonna try to tell myself that anyway. I also want to get some homework done for today, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get to the schoolwork until tomorrow night when the Sunday scaries hit, you know? Wow, sorry about this lighting. I am on the other side of the couch, which is the bad lighting side. I'm kind of a little bit ahead of schedule. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I do want to go clean up like the kitchen and stuff. We have some dishes that I need to do. Start reading some papers, which I really don't want to do, but I do need to do some reading for my meeting that I have on Monday. As I said before, I am meeting with a PI about rotating in his lab. And I kind of want to get some background reading done based on the project that I'll be working on. And he sent me like three papers to read and I am not a fast reader when it comes to scientific articles. So we'll see how far I get. Also, why is this focusing? I'm sorry that was not focusing on my face. It was focusing on the couch for some reason. I just finished doing my YouTube thumbnail. So this is my last video, if you saw it, uh, talking about kind of how I got to be in a PhD program and what I did during my two gap years and everything like that. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and watch that last video, which I am going to publish tomorrow. So I also have some other house chores I need to get done. I need to do the dishes and I have just put in a load of laundry, which will probably be done soon. So I'm still waiting for the couch people to get here. I kind of just want that to get it over with. I always just like get anxiety when I know someone has to come to my house to do something. Like if a plumber has to come, I just like get that anxiety knowing that they can come between like a certain time at any moment. Hopefully next time I tune in, I'll have the couch. This is how I know I'm getting old. I'm like excited to get a couch delivered at my house and I'm sitting at home waiting for a couch to be delivered.
finally got our new couch after hours of waiting. Actually, I don't even want to say hours. We ordered it Black Friday because it had a Black Friday sale and we finally have it. Let me test it out. I'm the first one to sit on it. It's a little bit more the firmer side. Anyway, yeah, this is a sleeper couch so we're really excited because we can finally have people over our house because we didn't want to do a guest bedroom upstairs. We kind of wanted this whole basement to be a guest bedroom but also convert into kind of a man cave like area so we have the fireplace and like joey's guitar over there bathroom over here next to our laundry room my plan is to have this assembled into kind of a cool darker moody theme so it's like a little bit more masculine than upstairs but also it can be converted into a sleeper couch so we can have family and friends over and joey told me i couldn't go to home goods until the couch was delivered and so the couch is delivered, Joey. I can finally go to Home Goods. I might go tomorrow. So watch me spend my entire paycheck. All right, ignore the laundry in the background, but we're heading to the gym. Check out my gym fit. Off to the gym. I think I'm gonna do a leg day today because I like doing cardio days on weekdays or early morning days because I've been doing morning workouts on weekdays. I think this is the Adapt Animal Print, something like that I'm not sure but these are my most favorite leggings ever highly recommend does anyone else relate when you have a good gym fit you feel like you can lift heavier Hey guys, it's Sunday and we just got back from Home Goods and I realized I forgot to close the vlog. So I'm not being super productive now as I have just gone shopping. So I'm gonna close the vlog here. Thanks so much for walking walking. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.